Yes, my name is Eric Girao. I'm an elder of the Kambay group of the Kukimitan people. Uh, just at the moment, my family and I are living in Cooktown. Mm -hmm. for a while. What does it mean to be an elder in your culture? Because you are an elder. It's, a, it's an honour to be an elder. And, um, and the respect you gain for that. And uh, the only way you can get that respect and uh, be truthful with yourself, sort of, is to be forthright and honest. And that's your duty. And that's what I've done. Mm -hmm. And I hope I'll continue doing that. Instead of uh, swelling up with pride and this and that. And, uh, real, really, uh, with that because that doesn't have the focus and um, uh, being an example to people or young people mainly. Do, do indigenous young people come to you with problems? Well, it's not only indigenous people, it's uh, right across the board and that's one of the best things ever. So, um, how, how does it feel to be uh, an indigenous person living in Australia today? That, that's funny, that question here is also so unique. Because what happened uh, during was after the 17th of May of 1942, when we all were evacuated from here, we... Uh, that was during World War II, I said, and that, that really brought that concept of um, uh, the pride that we uh, are so proud of, of who we are, where we come from, our language and our culture. We kept that during that ten, nine or ten years period which we, while we were down there, and our old, older people, uh, they stood up and said, uh, send um, uh, delegations to the governments, to the Lutheran Church and other churches. Uh, we wanted to get back to, back to our country again. And uh, after about nine or ten years, we were able to come back again. And we are here now. So mm. The uh, first contact we talk about is that's where uh, the, the Captain Cook made his landing here. Mm. And uh, that was the first contact between this concept that we live in now, or this era that we live in. And as I said, um, if uh, there were other nations came here, who would know whether we would be enjoying life like we're enjoying it now? Mm.